Hello, everybody. Bad Wolf here. This is part two to the Witcher 3 mod manager. <clears throat> In this, I'm going to be uh, discussing how to install the mods through the mod manager and how to use the prior prioritize in order to uh, take advantage of uh, load order and how some of the mod creators would like uh, the mods to be prioritized, uh, their created mods, how, how they want it to be prioritized. Um, I did a really quick video right before this one about um, uh, creating a folder specifically for mods that you've downloaded off of the Nexus. Uh, manually downloading the mods and putting them in a folder. Um, I went through and for the sake of this video, I took them out of the one folder that I had them in and I went ahead and put them in the folder that I had uh, showed on that video about creating a folder. Uh, just because it actually made more sense to me to do it that way uh, and have them uh, where I have them now. Um, so by taking this down, you will see well, this is my uh, Witcher 3 mods that I had downloaded. Uh, this was earlier this year that I downloaded a lot of these mods. Um, and uh, there was a lot of things that had happened um, uh, personally this year uh, so I really didn't get to install a lot of these mods or even run them um, and I'm going to have to go through these after I uh, do this video and I'm going to have to update them the ones that need updating um, and maybe get rid of some of the ones that I don't need uh, because there are some mods that have taken its place or have uh, been condensed to be an all-in-one type of mod. Uh, so that way I'm not loading up a shit ton full of mods. Um, as as w with that mod limit fix, uh, the, you do have, uh, I, uh, well, I've seen one, somebody post that they've had, they now have, have been running 300 mods. Uh, for the Witcher 3. When, <laughs> and it's so funny because um, it used to be, uh, I think, I know texture mods, you, you only had like about 20. 21 was the brick wall, I do believe. Um, and the, um, I think... Uh, um, 20 was the slow down area where uh, you would get loading while in the middle of a cut, cut scene uh, with, that had to do with uh, asking questions or answering questions. Um, and if it was under 20, then you would be all right. Uh, there was some times when you would run out of a cut scene and if you used any type of uh, hair color replacer mod for like Geralt doing uh, uh, more of the uh, white hair color like he's supposed to have uh, you would come out uh, you could just come out of a, a in, from a cut scene or uh, an interior and go outside and he would have short hair. Uh, I mean, buzz cut short hair. Uh, so you had to use things like uh, Mod Berger uh, for textures, which you still do, even with the uh, Mod Limit Fix. You still do. And that's another video I'm going to be doing. Um, I already did one once before. I got flack for that because of my rambling on 
Uh, and I was just recently told by somebody, it doesn't matter how much you ramble on because more information is better than no information. Um, yeah, I do ramble on about stupid shit and I apologize for that. Um, but I try to be as in, in, in full of info, uh, give you as much information as I can. Um, so anyway, um, I do have to go through all these mods. Um, and then before I start loading them up and, uh, uh, doing script merging, which that will be a video that is a very, in-depth video that I will be doing and it will be a lengthy video because of the fact that uh, it is can be it can very well be difficult to properly script merge mods um, because it's a lot of trial and error if you especially if you don't know what you're doing because you have to, you have to get the lines of code. Well, not really. It's not code. Uh, uh, you have to get the lines to match uh, or to mesh peacefully with others. Um, but uh, and then I would have to uh, do the texture mod merging. Uh, and like I said, that will be a video in and of itself. Uh, that one won't be too long of a video. Um, uh, how long it's going to take is because I have OCD, a uh, certain form of OCD, and I like to see things uh, a certain way. And uh, with the mod merger for textures, uh, well, when when I do that video, you'll see, and I'll explain why. I have to see things a certain way well, it's because of my OCD. Um, but anyway, so here in part two of uh, the mod manager, as you can see, uh, these are all the mods that I do have um, down that I have downloaded. And as you can see, it's 323 items. Well, I'm sorry, one of them is a folder, so it's 322 um, uh, uh, rare archive uh, files. Uh, uh, and one of them is a folder, and this is why the, why it's labeled that, and why that folder is named that installed uh, TW3MM is because, as you can see, all these are alphabetical order. And when you load them into, install them into the uh, Witcher 3 Mod Manager, if you're only doing them one at a time, uh, like, let me let me show you as an, as an example. So I'm going to add a mod. And here is the, where I have them all. As you can see, no matter how large I make this, it... This is still not going to show all 322 mods. You have to scroll down. So the reason why I have this, well, whether I, let's say I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to select from the first mod, the 1.32 mod, down to Concept Witcher's AIO, and I'm going to open that's going to install all of them. Hopefully. Yep, there it goes. Um, oh, I guess I have two of them. I'm going to have to uh, go through these. That was my fault. I should have gone through these beforehand. Uh, as, as you can see, there are some that are that are wrong. Uh, this this is me just doing a blanket install of all the mods on that first uh, by clicking add. But as you can see, all the mods that I had installed, and that window will drop down to back down to a smaller size. So let me re resize this again. Okay, so I went from 1.32 to 
to concept butchers. Okay, I already installed those. There were some problems with them. I'll discuss those later. Well, actually, I can discuss them now. The problems with some of them was I wasn't installing them correctly. I was just doing this as a demonstration. And then there are some other mods that are dupli duplicates of one, the ones that I already have. So I have to clean up my folder and I do still have to update these mods. Uh, download new versions of them. But anyway, um, since I already have all these, here's the reason why I have this folder. So I'm going to cancel out of that. I'm going to open. Um, I'm going to open it up. And this is why I have installed to uh, install TW3MM. All right, so where did it go to? Uh, oh, it went down. There it is. 60 of them. So I just move them to that. Now I go back here, click on Add, and look, those are gone. So now I can resize this again. This is an OCD thing for me because I li I don't want to scroll down just in case I forget where I left off. It's better for me with OCD, do it like this, where I would just highlight all of them once I have, and then I would click open. And as you can see, I'm going from configurable boat feed down to uh, HOS better rewards. Uh, and then I would click open to install all those, and then it would you know, install all this. Um, and then I would go right back into uh, Witcher 3 mods, and I would take those same ones, put them back into, put them all into this folder. So that way it makes it nice and neat, and my OCD is not screaming at me. Okay, so cancel out that. that. Now, here is where the priority comes into play. Let me uh, make these. This is something similar to um, Nexus Mod Manager, uh, the way they have uh, certain things, um, the size of it and date installed. Um, then, then you also have elements of Mod Organizer and Mod Organizer 2 or Mo or Mo2, as I like to call them. Um, as you can see, they have uh, it, it, that's what the element of Mod Organizer is. Uh, the mods are installed on one side. This is where they get installed, and this is the load order side. Um, it's similar to the left and right panels of Mod Organizer. Um, and uh, even though you can't move these around because it doesn't, they're not they're not movable. So because this side isn't over isn't doing overwrites. Uh, for like Bethesda games. This is why it's complete. This is why the Witcher 3 modding is completely different from Bethesda games. Why it is uh, a little bit more micromanaged uh, than Bethesda games for modding. Uh, okay, so let's talk about the priority. This is from, this already has a listing of priority because of the first video I showed briefly how to change the priority on that. Uh, so it's remembering that. The only way I'm going to get it to forget that is I'm going to have to go into the mod settings because I do believe it is in the mod settings. Um, which it is. And I don't know why this is a... Uh, uh, 
that doesn't make sense that it's a, a link to uh, an HTML. I'm going to have to go into this documents and uh, change that to be open with Notepad++, which I'm going to do that real quick because my OCD is already screaming at me, telling me, hey, this is wrong. You need to change that. And so I'm getting ready to change that. Um, down here at the bottom where it's actually off screen. Okay, so documents, which are three. Yes, they are all listed as, wow, settings designer file. Wow, that, oh, that's, I'm going to have to change those. Edit with notepad. I don't know, we're going to have to do one at a time. So, open with. There it is. Always do this to open settings files. All right. There we go. There we go. Now it works. Better. That's better. That's better looking. All right. Now, now I click on this, right? There we go. I click on that. Let me bring this up. Click on that. And now it's, now it's working for a notepad plus plus. Okay. So this was the mod settings. As you can see, um, L's all skills active enabled, of course, because we installed it and the priority is five. Well, I have to change this in here. Uh, actually, if I delete it and then save, then it should not list it anymore. There we go. See right there. It took it away from the priority over here on the right side. Okay. So. Now we're going to set priorities to some of these. And again, this is just for um, uh, video purpose. It's not how I am setting up my game uh, because I still have a lot to do uh, in order to get the game running with these mods. So uh, let's take let's take a look here. We have Anna Henrietta Custom Complexion. Um, and then uh, that's, a, that's a face mod. Uh, well, a look at what she looks like. Uh, here we have Sarah's Custom Complexion. Uh, we have, this is a custom complexion for uh, Siri. Um, so I've got these three that it is taking and changing the looks of the three characters. And how I want to do that is I want to group them kind of together. And let's see if um, there is this mine or is this the, no, these are not what I've downloaded. Oh, yes, they are. They are. No, they're not. Okay, I'm kind of rambling here. Oh, these are the ones that I've, uh, that I've uh, downloaded. Okay, so that's Anna. Uh, no, that's not custom. Oh, yeah, yeah, it's E-Y. E-Y. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nope. Yeah. Wow. I don't know where that uh, those kind of mods are. Uh, let's see here. Sorry, I should have been a little bit more prepared. Uh, let's use this one as an example. Philip Hart's new face. Um, it does not say where exactly to place it in um, priority, but it 
it's it's better to kind of keep all of them grouped together. So I have these three. Um, you can assign any number to them uh, as long as it's not zero, double zero, or triple zero. Those are saved specifically for uh, script merger and the texture mod merger. Uh, so anything. Anything, any other number besides zero, double zero, or triple zero. So I'm going to put on here Anna and Henrietta. We're going to put the texture, the face, facial textures, we're going to put them in the 20s. So we'll start off with 20. And see, here's all the, here's all the list of installed, um, enabled mods. As you can see, it should now say, there we go. There's the priority for the mod settings. Now we're going to go to series 4K. We're going to change priority 21. Oops, 21. And then we have Ceres as well. Since I did her, since I did series first, I can go ahead and still make this though 22 and be right behind. So it's pulled them from alphabetical order and moved them up to the top because now these now have priority numbers. So that's basically how you um, put uh, priority numbers on these mods. Uh, still, please read the descriptions of every single mod that you download and check to make sure that there is a priority before you just blindly put in a, a, a number. Uh, don't, don't not put things in order in, in priority as well. You, you need to have some kind of uh, priority on these mods in order for them to work properly and work together with each other. Like uh, take, for example, I have some Tris mods that uh, Give her back her uh, book looks, her auburn hair, her cornflower blue eyes. Uh, so the, that's, and, and then the custom uh, complexion where it sharpens her, her, her face. Uh, so with that, I have the eyes uh, in, uh, priority before the face. The, I have the eyes. Then I have the hair. Then I have the face. I, if I, I want to say, I remember reading like on the Witcher three forms that it's better to do it that way because that's how the game reads it. It reads the eyes first, then the hair, then the skin. I'll have to double check on that. Um, but I do believe that's how it, it's loading the game. So, uh, or loads the, uh, the, the character in the game. So that's how I'm going to set the priorities on. Uh, so if I have, which I know I have uh, a mod to give Siri emerald green eyes like she's supposed to have, uh, in, like she has in the book, in the books. So I would have given her, I would have given her eyes. Well, it's right here. Siri green eyes. Uh, I, sh I need to make this, let me change this number, uh, from 22. Let's put that at 23. See, changed it over here at the same time. Um, this is her 4k texture, changing that to 22 and now green eyes. Now let's find it here. See series eyes right here in the pri in the load order side is right there. Now I'm going to go ahead and change this to 21 because I want her eyes to load up before her face. And there we go. It's now taken that and moved it up here and it's going to load before uh, the rest of her, uh, her looks, her changing looks. Um, so yeah, that's basically how you manually uh, add mods to uh, the mod manager. You can do it one at a time. You can do it in a group. Um, I wouldn't, I, I wouldn't do what I did was I, that, that was, 
30 uh, some odd mods or was it or it was more who knows I can't remember um, and tried to install them because there are some mods that you cannot that you down manually download that you cannot use the mod manager for and those mods are are and that's why you must read the description because it will tell you whether to load whether you have to load it manually uh, into uh, the game folder or you can use a mod manager in it. and it is advised very 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 advised to go by what the description says of the, of the creator of that mod uh, I cannot stress that enough. I said it in the first part of this video, and I'm saying it again in this video. Do not dismiss what the description says of each mod. Read the mod. You have plenty of time to play the game later. Read the description of the mod, what it does. If there's any issues with the mods, if there's any known conflicts with mods, with, uh, with their mod, read the thing. Okay, then decide whether it's worth it for you to mod to to use that mod or to go. Okay, well, I need to change some things around. That is the most important part of doing mods for any games, whether it is The Witcher Three, uh, The Witcher, The Witcher Two, Assassin of Kings, or any of the Bethesda games. Read the descriptions. That's all you have to do is just read. It doesn't, it, it takes you, it, depending, yes, there are some mod creators that have very long descriptions, but there are reasons for it being very long descriptions uh, because it's, they're trying to give you as much information as they can because they are tired of answering the same question in the posts over and over and over again because people don't read the descriptions. That's all I'm telling you. Read the description, and it will let you know where to place the place the mod in the folder through a mod manager. Uh, it tell, tells you the load order or the priority. But I, again, I just can't stress all that enough. So I don't think there's anything else I can add to this. Uh, I knew this one wasn't going to be as long because it was pretty straightforward. Uh, uh, taking downloaded mods from NetAxis, uh, using them, how to add it to the mod manager to, to grab it and it automatically extracts it, uh, extracts the mod, puts it in its proper location. Unless it's a mod that they tell you that you have to manually uh, install it. Um, and then I showed you how to do a priority. Uh, I think I will do one more video about how to, uh, get a mod that has, uh, that wants you to do it manually. I think that's important that I need to show you that. So I guess, um, the next part, this is not going to be the mod manager part three. Uh, I guess the next video I'm going to be doing is how to, manually install mods that require manual installation into the game's folders. Anyway, uh, thanks for checking this video out. Give it a like, um, subscribe if you haven't already, because there's going to be, well, at least three more videos on how to mod The Witcher 3. Uh, and then later on, after I get all my mods loaded and the video's done, I am going to be more than likely doing a let's play a modded Witcher 3 game. Uh, but that's all I have. This is Bad Wolf, and I will talk to you in the next video.